What up, people? It's your boy, Master Trudy, out here with another comic review. So we got Deceased Hope at World's End, number six. Uh, if you've noticed, the cover page is kind of a another page from four issues back with Black Adam, basically. And this picks up where that left off. We've been focusing a little bit on, uh, on Damien, Cass, and John in the last couple of issues. Now we're focusing on... Um, we're back at Black Adam. So this is as much as a laid back issue of deceased as you can call it. Um of course Tom Taylor writing writing the usual good stuff. And then you have Renato Guedes, who's the artiste. And I am I'm not huge on the art. after especially the last two issues. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there. Let's get into it. So um, we're back in Jotunheim, which is not far from Quarek, and we have Wink and the Airy pretty much in this place, and he's there to warn them that hey, an anti-living army is coming. Um, so it looks to be millions coming here with Black Adam, Raza. We have to assume your friends Nightshade and Hive are with them, and their powers belong to the anti-life equation. If we sit here, we die. And he's Raza saying, if we try to leave, we die. Either way, there's a lot of dying going on. And, you know, Manticore pretty much tells them, hey, you are the only people you are the only people able to escape this. You should go. We all understand. And Wink is like, we're not really built that way, Manticore, but thanks. You're the most caring lion scorpion man I've ever met. And so she says we need help. And he's like, from who? It's like heroes. Ari is like, we don't know whether anyone is left. I wouldn't know where to find them if they if if they were. And Wink suggests going to Themyscira. And this is my least favorite part of this because uh, I am not liking the look of this face. They're kind of elongated. And he and Ross is like, oh, the islands, um, the island is hidden. And Wink is like, we know it's in the Aegean Sea. And Wink is like, hey, there are 140 islands in the Aegean Sea. And, you know, he decides to go. But Wink decides to stay. And she tells him that, hey, the agency is, give or take, a thousand miles away. Can't possibly survive at the height and speeds you can travel. And I'm not slowing you down. And she says, Aerie, every second it takes you to realize I'm right is a second loss. And so Aerie tells um, <clears throat> Wink to take, uh, to teleport outside. We see that, um, it says it wasn't much of a plan to find a secret island and hope there's someone there who can save thousands of people from certain death. And he's like, I'll, I'll come back, whether with or without help. I won't let you face this alone, and that's the end of that. So Wink teleports, and Aerie decides to break the sound barrier so he can get to Themyscira. Meanwhile, Black Adam's army is coming. And they get the troops. It's like, anyone unable to fight, retreat to the top rings of the fortress. Anyone who can hold a weapon, get out the windows. So, it's like, the Edenton army can't reach up here. But even those walls won't hold Black Adam for long. And, you know, Wink has a plan. And he suggests that, let's try my plan. F let's try my plan first. I need you to hit Adam. As soon as he's in sight, I need you to give him a very obvious target. I'll take it from here. So they begin firing on Black Adam. He gets hit. Wink manages to go in, teleport herself on his back, teleport him into the mountain. And it's like I teleported to the other side of the mountain. I left him halfway. It's like Adam's in the mountain? Can he survive that? I have no idea, but of course he can survive that. And he's shaking the whole mountain. Meanwhile, Aerie starts conversing with birds, gets a location, but actually... Oh my gosh, this is not a good picture of Wonder Woman. <laughs> I'm just that's just my opinion. <laughs> it's not good. Uh but Wonder Woman, I guess, doing some recon says, Can I help you? And Aerie's like, I hope you can I hope so. You and everyone you can reach. Meanwhile, back at uh Jotunheim, Jotunheim, uh, the rules have changed. Her name right here is Eve Eden. Basically she can project shadows, make portals. <laughs> And, of course, it's too late, and we all know what happens. Everybody starts getting infected and massacred. So Manticore falls. And Ross is like, no. And meanwhile, Black Adam manages to crack open the mountain of Jotunheim. And, jo and Jotunheim and the thousands of people inside fell. 
only to be caught by a warrior goddess. So Wonder Woman manages to save them on time. And she's trying to prevent um, the building from falling, but Black Adam comes out and Black Adam is right next to her. And we know that people are going to die in the next issue because there's no way she can maintain this focus and whatnot. So <clears throat> I'm going to stop it here. I just like the woo whoosh and the grab. This is probably one of the best art works in the issue. Um, issues was okay. The art was not as good as the last couple of issues, so that's what brings it down. But it's pretty much, you know, filling the hole. Nothing really deep. There's action. Um, but it's okay. I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10. It, it's not bad, but could be better. So, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notifications to make sure you're notified, and comment below to give your opinions. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Thank you all for watching, and I'll have more comic reviews up today, later today. Peace.